everyone. So today's card is going to be a Mother's Day card. Um, I've already pre-cut these circles because um, I'm going to do three flowers. So I've pre-cut uh, three different sizes of circles using my Calusal cutting system. Um, just to give me some idea of the size. And now what I'm doing is I'm going around them and, and rough cutting the circle so they're not perfectly uniform circles. Just because they want to give the, the flowers a little bit more of a realistic appearance to them. Um, um, I saw this technique on the Hero Arts blog a couple of weeks back and, and I'm, just, I'm just changing it slightly um, for my purposes here but I hope you enjoy this tutorial. So I've already cut all those out and, and, and rough cut the circles and now I'm using my Making Memories edge scraper um, just to roughen up these edges and you know I'm not being precious about this at all I'm, I'm really really kind of hacking into it and in some places I even ripped the paper and I'm not bothered at all about this um, you know it just adds the overall effect. And then I'm just going to scrunch them up and again give them a bit of the rough treatment and really you know really kind of press in some good strong creases um, and then I'm just going to use my sanding block which I just bought from a local DIY store it's not a craft tool at all it's it's just a proper sanding block you would use for your um, DIY around the home and I'm just really as you can see there I've, um, I've, I've totally ripped that bit of paper but I've, I've really gone over them and roughed them up and now what I'm going to do is uh, just punch a hole through all three of those circles so I can adhere them together with a with a tiny brad. I think these are one eighth inch brads from uh, Dovecraft, and that's just to hold the flower together. But you could use a button or anything like that. And here I've used the um, cutter bug embossing folder, um, and I'm using some um, a whitewash collection um, by Coordinations. So it's white cardstock that's got like different colours of. Um, the inside of the cardstock is a different colour so when you sand over it you get this lovely um, different coloured texture coming through. So I'll just rough that up with a bit of sandpaper and now I'm just going to um, sort out a border using my scallop punch from Fiskars and I'm going to do that in bright pinks and just add a little bit of zing to the card. So I've gone along that whole length and here you see I misjudged it and I've, I've got a, a missing a missing punch so I've just lined up both sides and then punched it again and you couldn't tell the difference once I'd finished. So I've just chopped the first I think inch and a half off the bottom of my the front of my base card and I'm just going to run some tape runner along here and adhere that scallop down at the front of the card. So literally just the scallop is scallop part of the border is poking through. And then I'm going to run another line of tape runner down there and adhere this bit of vellum. Now I'm not worried about using vellum tape runner adhesive at all because I'm going to cover up that join in the end with another piece of the green cardstock on the inside. So it doesn't bother me that you can see the glue on the inside at the moment. And then I'm just trimming off down the edges um, just, to neaten that, just to neaten it up. and my card front is whole again. So here I'm just inking up a stamp that I made um, and designed myself using the image pack um, kit and I'm just I'm just inking it up in some normal colour box chalk ink and then just hitting it with some clear embossing powder. Just do be careful when you're inking on uh, vellum because it can be very slippery so you've got to make sure you keep your stamp very still as you're stamping so it doesn't smudge. So we're going back to that bit um, that I used in my colour book embossing folder. Um, because the American size standard size cards are slightly different to the UK ones, the embossing folders aren't quite long enough to go across the full length of a UK standard size card. So I've have to I had to cut it um, along its length and just uh, join it in the middle. But that bit that bit of the join will be hidden by one of the flowers anyway, so I'm not worried at all. So I'm just trimming down the edges along here again. Okay, and um, now just to attach the flowers themselves, which I'm doing using glue dots. And 
And I think I just used a couple of glue dots, but you might want to use a few more just to make sure they stay adhered down properly. And now I just got to um, punch the corners just around those bottom two corners of the card. Um, and then I thought I was done, but then I decided to put a bit of faux stitching in just along that border line. And that is the finished card. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.